you're vulnerable once again. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today I've got a couple really big stories from another Intel vulnerability to AMD revealing new info on their upcoming high-end Navi GPUs. Okay, so starting things off, I'm beginning to almost feel bad for Intel. Okay, maybe not, considering their recent earnings report showed the company is doing extremely well in sales. Either way, there appears to be yet another vulnerability based on speculative execution that once again only affects Intel CPUs. This new exploit is called Cache Out and is named because it can apparently leak data from the CPU's L1 cache. The worst part is that it's actually a controlled leak, meaning the exploit can pick and choose what data it wants. The exploit looks to have been first discovered in the RIDL paper and further studied at the University of Michigan. Luckily, Intel has issued a microcode update to mitigate it and they're discussing mitigation at the OS level. As for who's affected, it's basically any Intel CPU that was released before the fourth quarter of 2018. But there is a list so you can make 100% sure that you aren't affected. I'll have that linked in the description. All I can say is, hopefully this is the last one? Of course, with all of these hardware vulnerabilities, it's never been a better time to protect your money with today's sponsor, Privacy.com, a new tool that lets you create virtual cards for each of your online retailers. That means no one sees your actual card number, and because each card is tied to a specific retailer, if someone steals your virtual card and tries to use it elsewhere, you'll get a notification. Plus, you can control how much is taken out of each card monthly or even total, so you'll never get charged more than you expect. To top all that off, it's not only free, but you get $5 when you visit privacy.com slash gamermeld and add your funding source today. Next up, we have a really big story that actually comes from AMD's CEO herself, Lisa Su. For those who don't know, the company had their earnings call yesterday and Lisa Su made a comment regarding their upcoming Navi GPUs. Now, before I go over this, there has actually been some miscommunication going around, but I'll get to that in a second. Regardless, during the conference, Lisa Su stated, quote, in 2019, we launched our new architecture in GPUs. It's the RDNA architecture, and that was the Navi-based products. You should expect those will be refreshed in 2020, and we'll have our next generation RDNA architecture that will be a part of our 2020 lineup. So we're pretty excited about that, and we'll talk more about that at our Financial Analyst Day. Now, we can actually get quite a few things out of this, but I first want to address some misunderstandings from the quote. And they're understandable, don't get me wrong, it's just still good to ensure no one gets the wrong information. When she mentioned a quote, refresh in 2020, some outlets got the impression that she meant our current cards like the RX 5700 and 5700 XT would get refreshed like say AMD did with their RX 500 series, meaning our current cards will actually get replaced with new ones. Well, that's actually not true, as Tom's Hardware spoke with AMD about it, and they clarified that Lisa Sue meant to refresh in the way investors understand it, meaning completely new products. Basically, she was referring to the upcoming big Navi GPUs and not some refresh of current products. Now, with that said, this is still big news because it confirms that the 5900 XT or 5950 XT or really whatever it's called, will in fact be based on AMD's next-gen RDNA 2 architecture. Now, so far, that is what rumors have suggested, and it's really the only way they could make it more powerful given the limit on cores that first-gen RDNA has. Either way, this is great because the new architecture could support any number of compute units, and it may be AMD's first architecture that completely moves away from their GCN architecture. I'd also argue that it further confirms hardware ray tracing since everything points to next-gen consoles being RDNA 2-based. Plus, the reply given to Tom's hardware definitely suggests we'll be seeing multiple cards based on the RDNA 2 architecture, which would explain the multiple GPUs listed that we've seen in recent EEC filings. Not only that, but the ending statement gives us a date to mark on the calendar. She stated that they'll talk more about it at their financial analyst day. And for those who don't know, that's March 5th, so we should hear some more concrete information soon. Of course, remember that my contact claims we can expect them this summer, and most rumors suggest a full announcement at this year's Computex, which would likely put the release right around that time. Of course, for more information on March 5th, make sure to subscribe to GamerMeld today. 
So while that does it for today, let me know what you're most excited about for AMD's upcoming GPU. Let me know down in the comments below. And definitely don't forget to check out privacy.com slash gamermeld. And as always, have a great day.